Here in Canary Wharf, London, England, for the open workout for Saturday night's huge night of boxing action. Stay in the pocket. I don't mind going to war, toe to toe. On Saturday, you got a British and Commonwealth Cruiserweight Championship with a little bit of spite, a little bit of bad blood, and quite honestly, I think someone's getting knocked out violently. You know, um, just to give him respect, he's a you know big, strong guy. Uh, it's very rare he gets banged out early, um, so I have to respect him and, and go do my job. He's tough, he's going to come and try and cause an upset, he's going to try and be awkward at times as well, but our styles are going to gel great. I've got oh, nothing but respect to the man. I'm really looking forward to putting on a show and I'm fully confident that I am going to shine in a punch perfect clinical Ladies and gentlemen, today we are in the heart of London. I'm going to knock him out. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Yeah, sure. It's done. It's done. It's done. I've seen a bit. Hello, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, it's a man. This is a performance. Good fight for both of them. I agree. You know, I've got a nice respect for you as a fighter. Thank you. I don't disturb. Yeah. I wish you luck now and I wish you and I'll shake your hand afterwards. Good luck. Yeah, it's a bit out. 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 Yeah, that's like what with AJ. Oh, never right. let go of it. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Anyone that's followed this young man's trajectory, his ups, his downs, his trials, his tribulations, to watching him become a world champion in front of a home crowd last December at the O2 Arena, becoming the best eight stone fighter on the planet, and him fulfilling a dream, but more importantly, fulfilling a promise to his ailing mother. And then we watched as it came full circle and he goes backstage and he presents his mom with the championship green belt. Truly an amazing sporting moment. You know, I was working at McDonald's to get somehow I become the Olympian, somehow I became European champion as an amateur, somehow I've won the British title, somehow I've won the Commonwealth title, somehow I'm gonna knock out what you can match one side of it. So for me it's it's I look at reality as opposed to, you know, um, what other boxes say, what other friends say, like him talking about wrestling and so on and so forth. I just look at the world up and the world up is I'm going to stop really too much of badly on the weekend. You win this fight by stoppage? Yeah, 100% I win this fight by stoppage. I know you as an individual are definitely not looking past Saturday night, but I have to say a word about the light heavyweight division. 
right now. It's just a sensational division. Obviously, Dimitri Bivol signed with Match and Boxing as well, and Arthur Vitterbiev and Bogdix as well. Um, it's just a fantastic division and a very difficult one. So, uh, Kovalev, um, some huge fights out there for you if you can conquer domestic and European level. Huge fights up there, like you said. But the goal right now is to conquer Britain. Um, Saturday night, I'll deal with that, and maybe people will step up. We take the fights nationally. We make it happen. And again, we look forward to your guidance and my manager, my trainer's guidance to make the next move. <laughs> horse face. So he said to you, you're calling me a horse face. <laughs> I said, remember, I'm not, I'm not either, I'm not Luke right here, so you're going to see. I said, I keep talking like, because are you calling me a horse face all this time? I'm like, yeah, you are. <laughs> what a nutter. And still, baby, number one. Making more noise. Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you, man? Good, Big man. Yes. All right. Good, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you that. <laughs> you probably saw it on my talk. That's well, why. You gave me a fright, you know, <laughs> that if I forget your name, <laughs> what will happen? Any cuts at all? Antibiotics? No, no medicine? Yeah. No. no flu? No. No asthma? No. No headaches? No. No migraine? No. Any allergies? No allergies. Feeling good? I'm allergic to losing actually. <laughs> <laughs> you need that. Come on, number one. Jab, real good. His jab defense is incredible. Yeah. You've got to come see us in the middle of the ring. We're not going to follow this. He's been instructed not to follow. Wait, Only in the middle of the ring. Wait, in the middle of the ring, okay, coach? Wait, coach, in the middle of the ring, okay? Wait, coach, in the middle of the ring, okay? Wait, coach, when he punches, we're not going straight backwards. Just to let you know, we're going to a heavy control game and we're punching off of that. That's the fight. The fight's going to be jab defense. We're not following you. you got to see us in the middle of the ring. That's the fight. <laughs> you can't control that. We're dictating that. It doesn't matter what strategy, what video you watch, it's an old scouting report. That's the fight. Cab defense, middle of the ring. You're welcome. You're welcome. No surprise. The makes the most noise. The announcers know how to call it because I've already educated them. He's got to come forward. He can move like this all day, but in order to punch, you got to stop and come forward. That's better for our defense, sir. Coach, I'm going to school you today. This is between you and I. There's no adjustments you're making. Sparring with heavyweights? Bad move. Your hand speed's already slow. Why would you spar with heavyweights for this camp? Why would you spar with heavyweights for this camp? Oh, I'm just teaching them about the fight. Coach, that was a bad move sparring with heavyweights for this camp. Think you're ready for Lawrence's power? We're coming in fast. I love your outfit. We're coming in fast. Yeah. Coming on. Yeah. Like this is only like songs in it. And still, baby. Trust me, the tactics go back to the wrong way. Let me come forward. Guys, 
Tonight is all about the new generation of British boxing talent. Here at the Copper Box Arena, we bring you an absolutely terrific night of action. The new WBA Intercontinental Super Lightweight Champion, the Sandman, Lewis Ritson. Hey, good luck, guys. to the kind of boxer who inspires a lot of admiration because he's really stuck at it down the years. What's good, couple bucks? He's the baddest that you've seen thus far when he pulls up in the car. Every time you hit a see a sight, he'd be like, whoa. Oh, you ain't seen nothing like this before In a murphy door, four kittens galore Two stripping on the floor and he keeps it raw Cooking like they want more, but they keep it raw Steam filling, high kicks to ship Baby, we never ship him, only the bitch in him He gets the bag, he gets the bag, he gets it done Steady talking, get your jaws spun Oh, man, still. Oh, 
After 12 rounds of action here at the Copper Box, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges, Mark Lyson, Barry Lindemann, and John McKay scored about identically, 120 to 107. All three for your winner by unanimous decision from Croydon. He's still the WBC Flyweight Champion of the World. Char President Maurizio Sullivan, who Sullivan, who has just supported us so much, and Charlie, and his story has really touched this, this this president of the WBC, and he has a special few words and a very very special gift for Mrs. Edwards. I was born in boxing since I was a little kid. I have been dreaming of and living the lives of the boxers, and the parents inspire us, and the way your son has dedicated his life through your inspiration. And the most beautiful history we have seen is this. And the WBC responds to the dream of him because he won the title for you. We have prepared this belt. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you. 